six or seven points. There was no doubt. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. Kirsten has got Tony Oki very early on here with the left hook, I think. Well, we don't see Tony Oki in any kind of trouble normally. He's been whacked here by Kirsten in the first round. And he's in a bit of trouble, I'd say. Kirsten has won five of his 11 inside the limit, and he's got Tony Oki in a bit of trouble again. Oh, goodness me. Terrible punch there with Oki on the floor in the first round, and I suspect he'll give Tony Oki more than eight seconds to re recover. Well, he hasn't. Those been hit for Tony as well. We've had about a minute of action, and so far it's all gone Kirsten's way. Well, the rumblings of uh, victory for the foreign visitor were seeping out of the dressing room earlier, and Tony Oki in trouble for the first time possibly in his career and I hate to see that he's one of my favourite uh, fighters great character and he'll need to show some character here now Tony has scored four stoppage wins in his undefeated record and he's not a huge puncher and he's going to have to do things the hard way here a great start then for Andre Kirsten and every punch he lands seems to hurt Tony Oki Kirsten there once again bounces the right hand off Oki's face and you know buoyed on by this wonderful support he has comes roaring back carried the belt around the ring and he came in and an old friend Vova carried the belt for Kirsten and he entered the ring. Two proud calls. Switch to South for here for Kirsten. Well, has Tony begun to recover? I wonder. Up down in the first round. A hit lost on the floor. in this first round, it's going to be a 10-8 in favour of the challenger, yes indeed it is.
two then. Now two. Can brings him out. Second round of the scheduled 12 rounder for the WBU Light Heavyweight Championship. Last fight for Tony Oki was a win over Neil Simpson. So Oki then floored in the first. It appeared to be a left hook. He's got a terrific corner. Frank Hopkins, Ronnie Davis. If anyone can get him back into this, it's them. There's two points behind though. Having lost the first round with a knockdown. And uh, Andre Kirsten, a switch hitter, goes from right hand forward to left. And he obviously fancies this. struggling to find any real great rhythm here not uh, too many punches of his connecting he's working hard enough but uh, with little success Oki and Blood are of course no strangers but uh, to see him cut the bleedings I should say so early on is a bit uh, daunting Looks like he might have a cut on his hairline as well. Well, virtually everything that Oki's done in this second round is missed. It's uh, quite alarming to see so few punches getting through. There are two reasons for that. Either Oki's lost his confidence or Kirsten's measure of distance is superb. No doubt about that. Having said all that, Kirsten's not much better here in the second. Oh, good shot. Big left hook there. Big left hook there for Ian John Lewis. Well, Kirsten takes it down. The punch landed. He went down. He went down. And that's level on knockdowns now. Certainly left hook landed and Kirsten went down. Looking John Lewis picked the count up, which is entirely within his remit to do. A couple of right hands again getting through from, uh, from uh, Kirsten there. Well, he doesn't want to see this one go the full route, does he? Nice jab from Oki. Kirsten wants to finish this one sooner rather than later. I want to leave it to the judges. But back to Tony Oki. It's going to be a slog for him, I think. Oh, 
discoloration there in the right eye. Possibly from the left hook in the end of the last round from Oki. Oh, good left hook there from Tony. At times Oki just gets a little bit too wild. Lands a good shot. And then goes overboard and ruins it. Needs to watch that right hand from Andre Kirsten. That's the one he's concentrating on at the moment. So, 18 points each then, coming into round three. Knockdown against Oki in the first, a knockdown at the end of the second against Kirsten. Could have been a slip, but a punch did land. So I gave referee John Lewis the benefit of the doubt. Now, outworking Kirsten here in the third. And these long arms of Kirsten will undoubtedly cause problems for the champion. Tony Oki's nose um, might be slightly more than just a bleed. It's been bleeding pretty heavily and may well be broken. Well, there's the bell to end, probably around for Oki. then 28 27 on my card for Tony Oki after three the right oh goodness and again that big right hand here from Kirsten Oki back up on his feet tries to uh, fight back takes another count well, once again a count there for John Lewis not controversial in my opinion Obviously, Kirsten can bang with that right. And it's the one punch that Tony Oki has got a guard against. drama in the fourth Oki already with a point deficit to make up because of the knockdown scored a knockdown it's still possible for Oki to come back and share this round 10-10 she can't have 
a 9-9 round in boxing. And I've always asked, why not? I never had a satisfactory answer, by the way. Well, Tony Oki working hard now. But he'll only be a point up, I think, at the end of this round. Despite all that hard work, he did hit the floor. Well, he had a real tough fight with Chris Davis and a, a tougher one with Neil Simpson the end than he expected. And here he is in another war. That's why we love him. So, come towards the end then of round four. Well, he's going to have to call it level. contest this one's turned into simply because Kirsten knows he can hurt Tony Oakley with that right hand and whilst he can it will always be a fascinating match Oakley though the hard worker he's the man who comes back and stings the challenger thank you very much no problem John yes that's all thank you very much Bit of time out here for well, just a bit of tape there. Oh, sorted that. Get it off it. Get it off. So, okay, then 38 37 in front, in my opinion. Coming out for round five. I've seen Oki box better than this. But there's a slight touch of desperation, in fact, more than a slight touch in his work. Um, he's got that laser damage, and of course, he has been. Oh, love the uppercut there from Kirsten. Kind of say, been vulnerable to the right hand of the challenger. And there's blood now cascading all around the face of Oki. He's cut on the left eye now. again well, I'm wondering whether Kirsten shoots in bolt after that attack so Tony Oki then bleeding from the nose to mouth and I think the left eye now and there's not been head clashes I don't think possibly cut on the right eye as well. Oh, what a nuisance. Oki, a real tough guy. He has the fortitude to withstand these kinds of problems. Kirsten, not surprisingly, unbothered there by Oki's punches. So 
Tony's not known for his power. Kirsten looks to be. So just over 50 percent knockout ratio, Kirsten's record. And uh, once again, a very close round. I'm going to call that one level as well. Still a point in it for my money, for Tony Oki. Um, as I say, I thought uh, Kirsten started round five very well, but Oki came back at him with more. Um, not as effective to watch, but certainly, I think, did enough to share the round. And Andre Kirsten still looks very confident out there. He's got that air about him, hasn't he? He hits harder than Tony Oki, and he couldn't hurt Kirsten. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Was that no? Probably. Accidentally. That wouldn't have been delivered by Tony. Not a million years. Challenger recovered. Probably. So, a little bit of sunshine then creeps into Tony Oki's life. A knockdown, which will make a big difference. And of course, he's winning the round handsomely. It's going to be a 10 8 round, this to Tony. And he's getting scored a knockdown at the end of the second round. Punching with a power we didn't think he had. <laughs> Big round this now for Tony. the one not just on the scorecard it should be a two point margin <laughs> but of course it's that psychological edge <laughs> again good work by Oki Tony, big smile on his face, going back to the corner.
halfway point. Round seven, I've got Oki up 58-55. But not out of the woods yet, not by a long way. First and forward, of course, in rounds two and six. Oki on the deck in the first. keep landing and let's face it it's the only real punch that Kirsten's got of any danger round for Oki I think. Especially when he realises that time is running out, it'll get even more dangerous, I suppose. It's a big opportunity for this uh, young man to make some money. Not too many money making opportunities in Estonia, I would have thought. Getting hard work now here, I think, for uh, Andre. 
Andre Kirsten. Hanging on there a moment ago from a right. The pace has been very, very tough. Now Kirsten beginning to lose his sense of direction as well. think that Oki genuinely is really a super middleweight to have uh, done so well in the line heavyweight division is quite something. Well good work now there Sir Oki. Boxing well. And Kirsten is absolutely exhausted. Tough fight, it's getting tougher for the challenger. steady approach then from Oki here in this round and uh, it's just what he needed nice steady round maybe he'll need a big one next time out just to reinforce his position at an important time in the fight. over both and nose bleeding. jabs these are good punches look he's still checking that left eye of his well a grimace there on the face of the challenger and he's cut over the right eye as well now Kirsten Talking to Oki on the inside. Well, things now going from bad to worse, I think, for Andre Kirsten. Lovely. That's 
the most demoralising punch in the book, of course. An accurate stiff jab. spilling down Oku's shoulder. Well, that's quite a nasty pair of cuts for Kirsten. Now, once again, the clash of heads there, but another round, a big one for Oku. Yes, round 10, this is three to go. I've got a six point gap now for Tony Oki. And of course you can never write off a determined challenger. And uh, Andre Kirsten has been that most of the way. He's looked a bit sorry for himself last couple of rounds though. Cut on both eyes and losing heavily. this challenger There's quite a lot of blood spilt between these two a shot there from Oki. And I suspect Tony would swap half of his grit and determination for twice the punching power at times. Oki almost always has to do it the hard way. this one and the winning post is getting closer further away I fear for Kirsten another big 
ground there for Oki. Ultimate round. Well, I think this has long been decided. I've got to Oki with a seven point lead. And only this and one more to go. And he's had to work exceptionally hard in the early rounds to get to this stage. And it's just a good job that Tony's a tough guy. Tony's a gritty man, proud, and he wants to keep this title. And it doesn't mean a great deal outside the United Kingdom, but it's a WBU title, no. as people say, it's a means to an end. And it's been a good honour for Tony. And long may it continue. time in this fight I think since uh, Andre Kirsten's had some success and a bit of joy he's uh, been under pressure Yep, here we go then. 
Final session. Well, very sporting these two, aren't they? But Andre Kirsten needs a knockout to win. The WBU Light Heavyweight Championship, held by Tony Oki. Can he do it? And Oki gets through this last round in one piece. exceptionally well to ensure that Oki comes out with title attack. That's of course if the judges agree with what I'm saying. Uh, landed for four or five rounds, but it's all over now. Well done, boys. Thanks for the fight. Very sporting. Well, that was as hard as hell, wasn't it? And then brother Nick. I'll tell you something. He knows how hard that was. Well, we wait for the official verdicts. Ukrainian pals. And he's got the old belt, WBU International belt there. All well, the doctors will be busy afterwards with the old uh, needle and thread for both of these.
the official verdict. Ready. Andre Kirsten. Here we go. 118-110 on my Ladies and gentlemen, before we render the decision, Ian Jones, USR referee, wants you to give an outstanding round of applause for two brave and outstanding ones. Ladies and gentlemen, the score titles are as follows. Judge Eddie Marshall of South Africa scores the contest 116 to 108. Judge Carl Rogers of England scores the contest 115 to 109. And uh, Judge Reg Thompson also from England scores the contest 113 to 111. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still!